Hi, I'm Tim and thanks for watching this video. You're probably aware that there's various online PDF editors that you can use to convert and edit PDF files. Well, there's one called Bento PDF, which is on screen here at the moment. And this is a privacy first one. But not only do they have the bentopdf.com website, but they can also be run in a Docker container. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run Bento PDF in a Docker container. Now you can, of course, use any NAS that supports Docker containers. However, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install it on a Ugreen NAS. So let's get to it. So just before we go in and set up the Docker container with Bento PDF, I'll just quickly show you here the website. Now, as you can see, it's bentopdf.com and it's the PDF toolkit built for privacy. Now there's no signups required, no uploads, forever free, no limits, batch processing and lightning fast. Now the popular tools for this are PDF multi-tool, merge PDF, split, compress, crop PDF, sign it, convert it, PDF editor. So you can do everything that you want with a PDF. Now you're quite welcome, of course, to use the website free. What we're going to do is run it in a Docker container. And in this case, as I've said, I'm going to be doing it on a Ugreen NAS. So what we'll do is log into our Ugreen NAS, which I've already done. So once you've logged in, you will need to make sure that you've installed Docker, which is shown here. If you haven't, then what you need to do is go into the App Center here. Make sure you're in the All tab, which is here. And in the search box, type in Docker. And it should then bring up the results of Docker which is the utility. So all you would do is click the install button, wait a few moments. So it does take a few minutes to install. And then once it's installed, the icon will then appear on the desktop here. So before we go into Docker, what we need to do is go into files. So click on the files icon. This will then bring up the following window here. So yours will look different depending on which folders and files you've created. So what we're going to do is create a shared folder. So make sure you clicked on shared folder in this list here. Then click the plus icon and select create new shared folder. In the folder name, we'll call this bento PDF. So type in bento PDF, all one word without any spaces, and then select the storage location where you want the bento PDF folder to be created. Now you can enable recycle bin. However, I would recommend just unticking that option. So disable the recycle bin by unticking it and also hide in network. You can hide it in the network if you want, which won't affect the running of the Docker container. So once you've selected those options, like I've shown you here, click on create, and then it will ask you for the permissions for the folder. So what you want to do is make sure that administrators have access. Now, as you can see under administrators, they've got read and write access. So Tim here has got read and write access. Now for general users, share scanner, you'll see it's got access denied, which is fine. So once you've done that, click OK. This should then have created the Bento PDF folder. So once it's been created, you can close the files window, clicking X here. Then what you need to do is click on the new Docker icon on the desktop. Then what we're going to do is click on project at the left hand side. Then in the project window, you need to click on create. And then this will bring up a create project. So in the name box, we're going to call this Bento PDF. So we'll type it all in lowercase Bento PDF. So then in the storage path, click in the box and you'll see that it selected the storage path automatically as Bento PDF. If it hasn't, just click on it and then select Bento PDF and click confirm. So now in the compose configuration box here, so we've got all this screen here, with all this blank space. And what we're going to do is click in line one here. So in the box next to number one, click there. And then in a notepad document here, which I've just popped up on the screen, I've got some text. Now, what I will do is put this text in the video description. 
so that you can copy and paste it from the video description into your own Docker container. So what we're going to do is highlight all of this text, starting with services, right down to restart and let's start. So copy all that text, then go back to your create project screen here with the Docker. And in line one, we're going to paste in all of that text. And you'll see we've now got line one services, line two bento PDF, line three image and so on and so on right down to line number seven. So then what we're going to do is make sure that we've got run immediately after creation ticked. So that box should be ticked there. And then what we're going to do is click on deploy. So click deploy and it should then process and pull down the bento PDF and proceed to install it in a Docker container. And as you can see, it's already created. So it just took about 4.3 seconds to create and pull that Docker container down. So once it's done that, you can then click on OK. And you will see we've got now the project Bento PDF and it should be showing as running. If it's not showing as running, it means you've done something wrong with copying and pasting this text here. So make sure that you copy and paste it correctly. So with the Bento PDF running, that's all we need to do. We've created the Docker container. So to access the Bento PDF locally from the Docker container, all you need to do is open up a web page. So here I've got a new tab and then we're going to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address of your Ugreen NAS or whichever NAS you're using. And then after that, we're going to type in a colon. So you should be typing in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of your NAS, whichever model or brand that will be. Then another colon, and then we're going to type in 3000. So 3000 is the port number, and then we're going to press enter. And as you will see, it's now taken us into Bento PDF running on our Docker container locally on our Ugreen NAS. So all you need to do is scroll down, click start using forever free, and then all you can do is select what you want to do with the PDF. For example, convert a JPEG to a PDF, then it will give you a file box. So you click in the box, select the file, for example, this one, convert to PDF, and then it will ask you where to save it. And then what it's done is now save the PDF file onto our local computer. However, if you can't find the file for some reason, then in your web browser in the top right corner, you might see a yellow exclamation mark like I am hovering over here. So what you need to do is select that and click on keep for the files because it might be that your internet browser is blocking it for security reasons. But of course it is actually safe because it's all running locally on your network. So just make sure that you check the yellow exclamation mark if you can't see the files that you've converted. So then if we go back in, you'll see that I've just converted this into a PDF from a JPEG file. So that confirms that it does actually work. And that is Bento PDF running in a Docker container locally on a Ugreen NAS or whichever NAS you choose to use and run it on. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it useful. Take care and I'll be back again soon with more videos. Bye for now.